And this is a really good recipe, I have to say. <laughs> show y'all this drop app you pick it and you're gonna find recipes that you can make in your new grill microwave so we're gonna show you the squash recipe we're gonna type in squash and there you will see it go ahead and pick that it will tell you how many it will serve um, the minutes the difficulty and then you keep scrolling it's going to give you the ingredients this is a very simple one we're going to get started doing this i like that it has an app so that i can look up some cool things to cook that's a little different for the family so we're going to start cooking this y'all this is super easy y'all so you're going to put your squash in your casserole dish that you're going to use in the microwave make sure that the little baking dish you pick out fits in the microwave and that you can turn your plate at the bottom with, without it hitting the sides of the microwave. Okay, you're gonna start out with two cups of squash and your baking dish and just cube it up. Um, we're going to go ahead and put in about a teaspoon of olive oil. I might put a little extra because I like it. And I'm gonna go ahead and toss it in the olive oil first just so that maybe when I sprinkle the spices, they'll be on there a little more evenly. So make sure you get them coated good. If one escapes, throw it back in there. Come here, boy. All right. Now, we are going to salt and pepper it. Pepper. I love pepper. So you're just gonna salt and pepper it to taste. They tell you to use about a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. So I am going to just lightly sprinkle these with poultry seasoning. Stir it up, y'all. Stir it up good, okay? Yummy, that already looks delish, don't it? Butternut squash is such a pretty vegetable. I sprinkled just a little extra on there so it would be nice and delicious. Now, on to the microwave. Let's see how this sucker cooks. We're gonna use the grill setting today and the cook setting. We're placing the dish in the middle of the glass. We're gonna close the microwave. You've got a grill, power level, combination if you want to use the grill and the microwave at the same time you got a turbo defrost which is really nice you got a coffee and milk setting which will warm coffee in here it also has a sensor reheat so if you put a plate of food in here it has a sensor to know when the food is nice and warm um, of course it's got a popcorn button but what i'm going to use the most is the quick 30 second i'm going to use that more than any button on here it has a 10 minute a one minute and a 10 second button, which is really handy too. Okay, for our squash, we are going to use power level 10. That's the first setting. We are going to cook it for seven minutes. So I'm gonna press the minute button until I get to seven. And then I'm gonna hit start. After it's finished, we will grill it for 10 minutes. All right, y'all, it beat. And so, our seven minutes are over. It smells delicious, and of course, I'm sure it's done. That's how it looks before we grill it. So, if you have a regular microwave, that is how your squash would look, just cooking it in the microwave. But now, we get to grill it. 
Okay, now we're gonna grill our squash. When you grill, you use a rack so that it holds it up high against where the burners are. And it's really tall. So you can't have a really tall dish or it won't fit on the rack. So I'm gonna, we're gonna grill this for 10 minutes. Hit the grill button. There are different settings for grill. There's a one, two, three. You can look in the manual and see what they're for, but this is the highest setting and we're gonna make it go for 10 minutes. So this time we get to press 10 minute button. I'm cooking in it right now so y'all can see how loud it is. It is on the grill setting as we're speaking. I'm excited to show you guys how to use this microwave. I love it because it has a 30 second button. I love to go to the microwave and hit 30 seconds when I'm warming up something or cooking something. Uh, but now with this microwave, it does have features that help you defrost at different levels, which is nice because there's a big difference in defrosting some butter to make it room temperature for a cake and defrosting chicken. So I'm excited about using that. I love it when I can put a stick of butter in my microwave and get it out and it not be melted to make a cake and it be at room temperature. Another thing it has that I've never seen before is this sensor reheat. If you've got a plate of leftovers and you put it in this microwave, it will sense, it has sensors to know when your plate of food is hot. You can also combination cook foods. You can cook them with the grill and the microwave at the same time. All right, we're gonna get this out and see how it looks. Looks pretty good. So let's put some on our plate and give it a taste. You do have to, um, you may have to let it sit in there just a little bit longer for it to get nice and crusty. Just check on it and if you think it needs to cook a few more minutes, let it cook a few more minutes. Nice plate of roasted butternut squash. Still smoking. It makes you a little nervous when you put your dish that close to the top of this thing. But let me just tell you, it's not too hot to do that, so don't be scared. Let's take a bite. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Butternut squash is so delicious. It's sweet without putting anything on it. And this is a really good recipe, I have to say. Thanks to the drop app. Yummy, I'm gonna eat the whole plate. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks where we cook like mama did. Bye y'all, love ya.